everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today i have another build for you on primrose i'm going to be building the area around able sisters now as you can probably see able sisters is right near the entrance that we built in the last video for Primrose. So they're very, very close. I'm gonna build Nook's Cranny in a different location. It won't be near Able Sisters, but you'll see that in future videos. This is actually to the right of the entrance and I have popped another bridge over towards resident services, but I'll show that off at a later day. We're gonna be building this area today. Now, before we get started, I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jellybean family. Now, let's get building the area around Able Sisters. Now, I should have put all the codes down below now, so any of the codes that I'm using in today's video, if you like the look of them, they will be listed in the description down below. And today we seem to have Shino walking around, yes, she's still on my island, I have not had time to move her out. So yeah, she's just walking around here, <laughs> so hi Shino. So let's just talk about this path that I'm currently laying down, it is so stunning, I love it. It is called Moss Brick Path, and it was actually made by Kai underscore ACNH over on Twitter, I put their social in the description down below. I try to find as many socials of the creators as I can. Some of them I cannot find because I simply just search for them in the design kiosk so obviously there's no socials on there but I've done my best and tried to put as many of them as possible down in the description because they deserve all the credit for these lovely designs. There's just so many talented creators in the Animal Crossing community that you know I'm just trying to share as many of their socials as I can so you can go and give them some love over on them. Now as you can see there's that bridge that I was talking about. It is literally mirroring the bridge I did in my last video on the left side. So that's what I tried to do. I had to try and get them perfect. It was so annoying. I was like, please be perfect first time. And I must have checked so many times before I actually placed that bridge down. So it was perfect. And it is. And I'm so happy with it. I've actually built a river all the way around resident services. I might show that off in my next video. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because I don't plan plan my videos if that makes sense i'm kind of like oh what do i fancy building today what do i fancy moving around today and then i kind of just go with that basically so you may be thinking oh you've nearly finished able sisters but no i have not i am going to be doing the two sections in front of able sisters and this section to the right i'm going to make a little fake building here and now i am aware that these trees are not straight they're not in the right place the tree on the right is needs to move one square over and i do end up doing that in a minute on this video because i noticed i didn't realize what i was doing this part and it actually is frustrating that i got it wrong the first time but it's okay at least it's you know easy enough to fix but yeah we're building a fake building it's not gonna be any particular building or anything like a shop or anything it's just basically something to look cute in that space because i was really unsure what to put there so i thought you know what We'll just, we'll just make a random building. How the building looks now, I do actually end up changing it in just a second because I don't really like how the pergola looks inside of the storefronts. So I will change it around a bit and use terraforming instead. Now, as you can see, the building has completely disappeared and that is because I've realized the tree is in the wrong place and I had to make the path wider just so I could fit everything in properly and that it didn't look silly. And then I just had to add these plain party light archway because you know I'm obsessed. If you've been following my channel for a while you'll know it's one of my favorite items to use on any of my islands also i'm just obsessed with these street lamps with hanging baskets you can find the code for these in the description like i said with the rest of the codes and they're just so cute it looks so much better than actually having the banners on them so i'm going to be doing this with all the street lamps with banners from now on i've seen some spooky ones which look really awesome which i cannot wait to use on a halloween island that i'm definitely going to be doing this year i definitely definitely want to do Halloween. Halloween is my favourite time of the year so I'm not going to miss out on doing that in Animal Crossing for sure. Also you may notice that cute little Hazel is wandering around. I haven't actually scanned her in. She was just an auto fail because I had a random house that just never failed for ages. Every time I time travelled it just never failed and then one day it failed and it was Hazel so I can't be mad at that. It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. I did have Violet at one stage. That is worse. She's gone. She was the first one I kicked out. I was like you're leaving you're the worst sorry if you like violet but i do not like violet i don't like most of the gorillas i don't mind boone and i don't mind hans and peewee is kind of okay because 
I don't know, he just doesn't look weird. But the others, mm -mm, no, I'm not keen on them at all. They're my least favourite villager. So these two small sections in front of Able Sisters and the fake shop, I wasn't too sure what to do at first. So I had a little thing and I decided to make a little duck park here. And then the other side, I just put a cute little well. because I just thought it was very like countryside cottage core. It was just cute and I thought it was perfect to put there and fill those spaces in but not just fill them in with flowers because I feel like that's such a bad habit of mine is just finding an empty space on my island and just being like eh fill it with flowers fill it with bushes it will do <laughs> and then says me who's currently putting down flowers that's quite funny by the way I won't be building much further than this tree just because I feel like that will be saved for another day another build because I'm not too sure actually what I want to put there yet so now we're going to actually build this building that I was talking about with these storefronts we're going to have to do a little bit of arranging with the storefronts just to make sure everything fits a bit more naturally and it looks a bit more realistic and that's what we're currently doing i wanted to fit three along in there because i feel like it's a good size so three by two of the terraforming and yeah it just feels like a better size like that shino has actually been in this video quite a lot today she is the star of the show today not me not my building her because i know people love shino i think my next build after this one i might head to the left side of my entrance build and start building there i've currently popped my house down there so we'll build building my house and whatever else I decide to put next to it. I have ideas, I just don't know where I'm putting them yet, so it's kind of just all mixed up and mashed up in my head. Also, I am highly considering doing a second island to go along with this one, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be too much work to do two at once. We'll see, we'll see how I get on. I might do. If so, I don't know what theme I'd do, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, what, what do you guys think? Should I do another island? Should I do two islands? And what sort of theme should I do? So, now on the roof of the building, I just decided to pop a couple of flowers up there and the flower bed item. I think they look really, really cute. And then I finished the back of the building with just some more storefronts. It kind of looks like a tiny little flower top garden or, you know, someone was growing their plants up there. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. I didn't know what to put on the roof. So that's what I went with. I'll be using other items like the castle wall and the other walls. I think called medieval style walls. I'll be using those on some future buildings on this island. So we will be doing some better buildings than this one, but I, it's cute where it is for now. So I wasn't too keen on how the grass looked underneath the storefronts so I've decided to put this cute wood planks down and it definitely looks so much better in my eyes and Shino does actually end up stuck there so I have to move her in a second I thought she could get around the tree but it turns out she can't but we have finished the build so let's have a look around of the area And that is it everyone, we have finished our look around and our build for today. I had lots of fun as usual building this area for the Able Sisters. I feel like it feels super cozy, super cute. I can't wait to build more shopping areas like this on my island. I'm definitely going to be using this code a lot that I've used on the floor. If you did enjoy this video as well, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, comment down below even if it's just hello. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come and join the Jelly Bean family. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video everyone. Goodbye. Bye.